The spin-off continues today as we're back in FA Cup action in the first round proper with a glorious chance to get into the second round. Can we do it in today's episode of Walks to the FA Cup? Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 13 of the Kingsland Walks to Prem save here on Football Manager 2020. Let's hope it's not unlucky number 13 because it is a massive game today. It is Blythe Spartans in the FA Cup first round proper. This is the best chance we are ever, ever going to have to get into the second round proper. Because let me show you just how close things are in the league between us two. We are both on the same exact amount of points. We have a slightly better goal difference. But they did beat us 1-0 earlier in the season with a dodgy penalty. I remember it being. So, yeah. Very, very tight game. Let's hope we get a few more goals than what we got in that one in the game earlier in the season. And now, let's catch up on where we are since you was last with me, which was for the Murphy game. Four goals to one, we won that one. We was 3-0 up, they got one back, and then David and Barla just put the finishing touches on it at the end. So that was a very nice result and a very good performance. And then we carried that on with a 2-1 win against Curzon Aston. George Brown and Adam Marriott getting the goals for us. George Brown scoring early. Adam Marriott getting one with about 20 minutes left to win us the game. So that was a very nice result. Again, a very good performance. Adam Marriott, again, he's a very funny one. I'm not sure how to get him scoring more consistently. He's not doing badly, but he's not doing as well as he's doing in real life either. So hopefully we can carry things on with him and get him scoring a few more goals. And then after that was the one blip on the record since he was last with me. It was against a very impressive Boston team. They're doing well in the league, but we actually bossed this game. If we have a look at the match stats, it will show you, I think, that we was very much the better team. I'm not sure how on earth we lost this game, to be honest. Finally, the match stats have decided to load up. And yeah, you can see here, they only had 12 shots, 2 are 22. We had 8 on target and more of the ball. But just Boston's attackers were just more clinical and they just put the ball in the net. Easier than what we did. We just had one of those off days where just nothing went right for us. On another day, we would have won that one 3-0, I think you can say. So yeah, really unlucky. And really unlucky that that did come against one of our biggest rivals. But then... Oh my gosh, this game of football. This very game of football here. 8-2. We was 7-1 up at half time. No word of a lie. I've got a screenshot saved. I'll post that somewhere around here in a minute so you can see. But yes, yeah, 7-1 up at half time. 8-2 winners at full time. Adam Marriott with a hat trick. Sonny Carey with two. Ollie O'Dwyer, the defender with one. George Brown, the right winger, with another couple as well. It was just one of those games, one of those first halves, where every single shot went in. It was just beautiful to see. I was having so much fun watching that. If we could play like that every week, we'll be in the Premier League within six, seven years. And then, last one up, was very much a four draw, nil-nil. We drew, we drew it, despite them being down to 10 men for most of the game. It was just one of those ones where I think we used up all our energy in the Gateshead game. We didn't have anything left. But hopefully we have four today. And now let's go and crack on and let's have a look at what the team is going to be for this very big game in the FA Cup. The team for the game looks like this. We've got Barnes in goal, Fox at left back, O'Dwyer and Smith as centre-backs, Joshua Webb comes in at right back because Seckleford and Lewis Richards are both suspended for this game in the FA Cup after both picking up two yellow cards in previous games. 
So that rounds up the back four. And then in the midfield, we've got Parsons and Dronfield. They've pretty much got those places wrapped up at the minute. They've been doing very well there most of the season. So they keep their places. And then up top, it's Embalo on the left, as always. Carey and Brown finishing off that top three. And then we've got Mario as the pressing forward. Hopefully he can keep his form from the Gateshead game and get us a couple of goals. And so let's go and see you when we're in the dressing room. All right, we're in the dressing room. Let's do the usual. Get the assistant to set the opposition instructions. He's only set them for two players. Let's hope he's right not to be too worried. And now what do we do? Do we say this is a great opportunity so all the pundits have been right to back you up? Or do we say, I know a lot of you will be keen to avenge what happened last time. Great opportunity, I think. Go positive. And yep, that's got most of the boys motivated. So just before we go out there, oh, predictions. 2-1. Uh, 2-1 I'm thinking to us. I think we're going to get our revenge and we are going to get into the second round of the FA Cup. The game has started with a highlight straight from the kickoff. George Brown now has got the ball for us on the right hand side. Goes back to Dronfield to Parsons. He goes again to Dronfield. He tries to go over the top, but they win it back. Hack it with the ball out to Wrightson. And now can we win it back off him? Come on, let's win it back. Nope. Goes to Hack it. And he sprays it out wide. But our man Fox gets there first, goes over the top. Marriott with a long shot there. He's gone for it. And their keeper has had to push it over the bar. This is a very nice start. Very positive. We're on the front foot despite being the away side. Parsons with the corner. It's gone to Newby and he's cleared it out. And we are all over Blythe here in the early stages. 15 minutes in now. Blythe Spartans with the ball. They cross it in. It goes to Hackett who's in space and it's gone wide. Oh, that was the best chance of the game yet. 28 minutes in. Parsons now with a free kick for us. They head it away. It goes to Abdo, who's in a lot of space here. He can do some damage if he can do anything well here. He's running at our fullback. Come on, can we get it back? I think that's Fox trying to edge him out. Abdo goes for the cross, goes to Hackett in space, and it's in the back of the net. Jake Hackett with it. Ah, oh. that was a very good counter attack you've got to say it all came from our attack and then Abdo with the cross Hackett got it took our defender out with that one touch and then his second one just volleyed it into the back of the net oh but immediately after Parsons with another free kick for us and easy enough for Booth to keep hold of and so far with the match stats Blythe have been the better team. This is worrying people. Might be having to do some major changes at half time. But now Smith picks the ball up off the goalie's long kick. Goes back to Webb. And now he goes forward and what was that pass? Who was he aiming for with that? I have no idea. But Blythe do have the ball once again. Abdo to hack it. Come on, can we hack him down? Wrightson. With it. Come on. Let's get it off him. Let's get it off him. Don't let him cross it. Don't let him cross it. We've let him pass it. Hack it. Into Hunter who's in a lot of space. He goes for the shot and it's 2-0. Oh. This spin-off might be getting cancelled in a minute, people. Let's have a look at this. Hack it. Got the ball. And then as soon as he passed it, Hunter was in so much space. It was going to be harder for him to miss, to be honest, wasn't it? I, I know we're only half an hour in, but we've got to make changes. We're 2-0 down. So we're going with more of a counter-press approach. We're going to be distributing the ball out to the flanks. Try and get Embalo on it as much as possible. And we're also going with a standard defensive line rather than the lower line we did have previously. And we're going to go for more of a standard defensive width. I think we can say that. And let's just try and focus the play down the left. And let's see what happens now. 34 minutes in. Immediately following me making them changes. Newby is running at our defence and it's 3-0. Ah, uh, didn't, didn't want to play anyone in the second round anyway, did I? It just would have been an extra annoying game. 
That's what it would have been. Nubi doing a lot of damage down the right hand side. And Abdo again with another easy shot. Our defence has been terrible today. Well, well, well. What do you say about that? 3-0 down at half time. Cup run is all but over. It's going to take an Istanbul type half time team talk from me here. To get us back into this game. And let's see what I've got. Team talk. Uh, I know a lot of you will be keen to avenge what happened. No. I'm going to go aggressive. I expect to see a much better showing. That's got most of them motivated. I'm going to leave it at that. We are going more attacking now. I'm tempted to try and go two up top. But I don't want to just yet. Let's, let's leave things how they are for 10 minutes. And then see what happens. First highlight of the second half. And it's for Blythe Spartans. And they've headed it over the bar. From that corner kick. 61 minutes gone. Carey with the ball. Can he play it out wide? He, he, he goes long instead. That was not the best decision he's ever made. Hackett with it. But Carey wins it back. He's got Embalo out wide. And he can play it through. He does. He goes to George Brown. George Brown with a shot. And it's saved by Booth off his leg. And it goes out for a corner ball. Come on. This could be a great time to score. If we can get one now. We might have half a chance to get back into it. But we don't. And highlights are non-stop at the minute. Williams throws it to Gilboy for Blythe Spartans. He crosses it into the box. We get it away, but only as far as Hunter. To Gilboy again. Wide to Williams. And can he play it in? Nope, he goes to Gilboy to Williams. We need to tackle our man here. Newby to Williams. To Gilboy. Hunter, they're passing it around us very nicely. I don't know what's happened to me t telling them to close the ball down a lot. They're not really doing it all that much. And now Abdo's in behind our defence. And it's 4-0. I think we're at the point now where we take Adam Marriott and Mbalo off to stop him getting injured. I think we're at that point now. Uh, I, I said I wanted some more goals, didn't I? Just didn't want them for the boys in green and white. So, yeah, guys. Fourth goal's just gone in. We're making those changes. Harry Lim comes on for Marriott. And Kelly comes on for David and Barla. It's just about making sure people are fit for the upcoming league games now. And let's go, let's go drop a little bit deeper on the defensive line as well. And take that off. Focus play through the middle. And we'll go distribute over the defence. Not that I think it's going to be worth anything at this point. 20 minutes left to go in the game. It's Fox with the ball to Parsons. Fox crosses it in. Lim with the header. We've got one back. We're going to win it 5-4. We're going to win it 5-4. People, if you're on Betfair, get on there. Get the odds. Get the odds for a 5-4 win. You could win yourself some decent amount of money, people. Oh my gosh, come on. We're going to win 5-4. We're going to win 5-4. 10 minutes left to go in the game. Williams throwing it back to Hansen. He goes long and we get the ball back. O'Dwyer plays it wide. Sam Kelly with it. Can he cross the ball in? He does. It goes to Brown. Oh, 5-2, 4-2, 4-2 even. George Brown with a beautiful goal. Could we do this? We refuse to give up against Notts County. Can we refuse to give up here? I would take a replay back at our place. Come on. Only two more goals needed. Or not. That would have been a bit too mad, I think, after the last FA Cup game to come back from 4-0 down. We couldn't do it. Blythe were much the better team on the day. 16 shots, 9 on target. Only just a little bit less of the ball. They very much deserve to win that game. And now we go back to normal and go back to concentrating on getting ourselves promoted out of the Vanarama National League North. Uh, I'm going to go assertive. I'm not happy because I'm not. And yep, that's got everybody fired up. So let's go end the team talk there. 
and then we shall see when we're going to come back for the next episode. All right, we're going to come back for the FC United game in five games time. It should be a very good game. I wanted to bring you them earlier on in the season, but then being third up in the season, I think it was, it was just a little bit too early. So I'm going to bring you them in the next episode. And so guys, that's where we're going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video, please pop a massive thumbs up down below. Every like really does help the channel out. So if you have enjoyed the video, if you are enjoying the series so far, please do smash that like button down below. And yep guys, if you're new, please do subscribe to the channel as well for more Football Manager 20 content. The channel is growing amazingly at the minute. So thank you to everybody who is subscribing and liking stuff and watching content. You don't know how much it means to me. Thank you all so, so much. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. Check out the Passion for FM Discord server and the website and the Twitter page. All the links for that are going to be down below. Passion for FM is a phenomenal website. Got some very good resources for you to download there and some good guides and all things like that. So please do go and check them out. It that will mean a lot to me as well. And yep, guys, that's everything for today. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you tomorrow. Bye.